Hello everyone, welcome back to another edition of Let's Play Endless Space. We are now on part 10, um, and in our last video, we were invading and destroying the Purple Pilgrims. That's pretty much what we spent the entire uh, part doing. So in this part, we're going to continue on with that. And then we're also going to start plans for what to do for the rest of the game. Um, also in the last part, we decided we wanted to go and colonize these uh, these neutral neutral systems that hadn't yet been even uh, colonized but we discovered that the pirates have been building up a massive massive fleet um, this is something that we're gonna have to deal with um, pretty soon I think luckily we ha they haven't come to hassle us yet um, but I have a feeling that might change so first things first we did have a ceasefire um, proposed by the pilgrims they're going to give us Brassia, and they want a ceasefire, but we're going to refuse that because we're doing pretty well. Um, last time, the Greens had only two systems left when we did the ceasefire. Actually, they only had one system left, so it was more advantageous, advantageous for us. And we were also in a completely different uh, situation, so I think right now we're just going to refuse that, and we're going to keep attacking them. Um, them asking for a ceasefire and submitting one of their systems is a good indication that we're well in control of this war. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. Excellent. We just, uh, and let me just wait for some uh, attacks to maybe perhaps come. I was thinking maybe over here. Yep, okay. They are attacking us with their small little ships over here. I actually, they do have, this is a missile based ship, and they have shield armor, so what I want to do is I want to go into manual, and I'm going to use camouflage to reflect a lot of that damage. Um, it might not be absolutely necessary, but I'd really like to not lose any ships at all, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and use camouflage to get the plus 40 efficiency on anti-missiles. Oh, and this one even uh, has an admiral, a level 16 admiral, with their one ship. That's when you know the enemy is really in dire straits, when they're really not doing very well. Okay, so it looks like we're shooting over some lit beams and some kinetics. And we're also going to shoot some missiles eventually, I would assume. And actually, we did just take them out completely. Excellent. Will they get anything? No. Oh, they did take out one of our ships. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that's what might happen. That's unfortunate. It's strange that we didn't shoot uh, our missiles at them. Well, that's all right. And we do have a repair ship here. Yes, that's, so that's good. And we're invading and guarding there. And this is our scout, I believe. So actually, let's resolve our movement. Our scout is now open. Oh yes, we have uh, pirates in Nalan. We are going to go ahead and do a manual and try to get out of there as best we can. That's something else we're going to have to deal with, those pirates. I really just didn't see that coming. I really should have paid more attention to that. We should have gone and colonized those. But, you know, this is our first time playing through anyway. So I'm not completely uh, familiar with all the um, game play mechanics and what could possibly happen for every possible situation. So that's okay. We'll retreat and we'll gather our colony ships on one of our systems near there. And we'll see what happens. So this was our victory against the pilgrims where we lost. Oh, it was our repair ship. Okay, that's why. That's unfortunate. Actually, we do have a repair ship uh, somewhere. We have a fleet with an extra repair ship somewhere. Let's find that one. We only want one repair ship. Let's see. Is it this one? No, not that one. This one? No, it might be this one. Repair. Uh, attack. No, I could have swore we had a, a fleet with two repair ships, but I guess not. And this is a colony ship going to over here 
and we don't have any sensors over here so we might run into some pirates for all we know but we did take out pirates that were coming over here in the last video so we have here now awesome and actually they are sending a large fleet over there so I think I will leave our most powerful fleet to deal with that and I will send our second most powerful fleet to Taurus and we will go ahead and invade and guard and I will send this fleet to Bundus do we have actually we don't have any dreadnoughts let's see what we can do what can we do Silphi, I want you to build two dreadnoughts for me and then what I'll do is I will actually send I don't know if it'll the dreadnoughts are kind of slow so it might take them a while to actually get all the way over to Bundus but for now I'll take these guys and have them go to Bundus and start um, invading just to get that along mm, are we invading no I think we just got here this turn so we're going to invade and guard here we have two dreadnoughts so those each have those nice um, those nice invasion uh, modifiers and our hero which is over here on this fleet leveled up so let's go ahead and increase let's give him a veteran one which will open up some other options and we have a random event endless map artifact it was a tiny thing a bit of unsecured in unencrypted de data drifting as part of an endless wreck however it has provided a significant extension to the range of ship sensor systems and greatly improved local mapping so we get plus 100 percent sensors on system and plus 100 percent sensors on ships so we doubled, and you can actually see that right here. Um, actually, wow, that's very big. Our sensor radius is this glowing halo, whereas our radius of influence is this one. Usually they kind of map up, but now that we get double on system and on ships, so we get much bigger sensor radiuses. Radii, I guess. R-A-D-I-I. So that's good. That's a cool random event. We only had really one big um, negative random event, which was that approval modifier one way back in oh I think it was video four or five and now we have a resource monopoly on hydromio which I think we already had so it's just alerting of that so far we took care of um, those two things so we're getting some dreadnoughts to uh, put on Bundus for the invasion let's end the turn and I think these guys this fleet for the orange pilgrims is their only surviving large fleet that is out in the open they might have something in a hangar somewhere but I'm not sure so I'm gonna leave these guys to deal with them because otherwise they'll come over and they'll immediately take over here HIR rather so let's resolve that movement let's take a look at Yersh okay we're good on Yersh uh, let's actually zoom in better because then we'll be able to see those extra icons which will show our production. We did forget to go into here and start looking at the uh, system improvements and stuff like that. Let's do a quick survey of what their exploitations are. Arctic, let's see. Arctic is good for, we could do some science. Its industry is pretty low. I think I'll go for jungle tundra gas on planet so we get plus three on planet so that's pretty good all right on on this arctic planet again our industry is pretty low so i'll do that again <laughs> and we do have another um i know there is a research uh option for terraforming to make any planet any other type of planet but there is also this anomaly reduction uh, it's telling us over here because we have poor soil. So there is another anomaly reduction research that we could go for to help out with some of those. Um, so we might want to look into that. I know we did do an anomaly reduction earlier on in one of our earlier videos. And so we are upgrading that. Again, up Arctic. So we're going to do that. And is this a... No, this is barren. And let's see. I think we again want to go with... Um, with our production here or our industry rather it's just 
industry seems to be the most important thing right now um, because we want to churn out as many ships as possible, especially if we're going to be taking over the purple guys. And, of course, their approval is down because we're assimilating them. That sing looks good. And we finished advanced scholastics. Okay, so we get that nice dust star system improvement, which we'll start rolling out in the future. And actually, let's look at... Let's see, this is star system improvement. Graviton, graviton manipulation. Alpha transformation. Let's actually look and see if we can nail down any yes yeah, so we have a couple two two turn uh, military ones that we can take care of let's see what's that invasion another invasion um, support module and some plasma fields lasers and kinetic deflectors I would like to get a little bit further mm, that looks good too better missiles we are kind of, um, it seems like we've taken a more long range attack um, strategy. We might want to change that up because it, the orange ones, the orange faction at least, started to go more missile. And they, for some reason, they started to put laser uh, defense modules, which doesn't make much sense, um, at least for us. So I think what we want to do is keep, we might want to. Um, go laser damage and missile defense so what I'm actually going to do it's, it'll switch things up a little bit and it might confuse the enemy or it might fail miserably um, but we'll, we'll see what happens uh, so we'll go for more beams we might hit up hypermagnetic shielding as well and <coughs> let's take a look over here what's this one Hmm, that looks nice. That might be something to go for as well. I think I'm going to queue that up. And I'm also going to queue up this one and this one. And I just, we might as well just get these out of, the, oh, control clicking doesn't do anything. We want to shift click, don't we? Mm, yes, we want to shift click. So let's shift click on that. All these ones. Actually, let's go for the one, see how many we can get. Because we can usually get a couple one a couple per turn so like we'll get two and then we'll get two and I like to just kind of crank those out just so we have the option especially since no it's just a good thing to do I think is it the best thing to do probably not but we're gonna do it anyway all right in the turn and this fleet the orange fleet over here hasn't yet arrived it'll probably get there in the next turn do we have any attacks going? Nope. And our invasions are going well. And again, my theory, my earlier theory from way back in the couple, the first couple videos when we started invading green was that we had to wait to invade the home system, but that's not true. It probably just had a lot of defense against invasion. Okay, so let's resolve our movement. Didn't yet reach there. Now we have a pirate attacking our colony ships so we're going to go manual and we're going to get the hell out of there and we're going to really really hope that these pirate ships stay oh it really doesn't look like they're going to stay that is really unfortunate such is war what we might have to do is send two of our 11 out of 11 sh fleets to um yeah, that Y system, Yanish, was it? Yan, Yan something? Yeah, yeah something. I can't remember. Um, but we'll send them over there to be a choke point for all those pirate ships, and hopefully they'll be able to stall them. Um, I think, let me take a look at, I don't, yeah, I don't know what their main source of attack is. Hopefully it's not missile because we are really not equipped to deal with missile. Okay, so we did that. We have a our Silphi manager, our heroes in Silphi has a level up. So let's go ahead and go for another balanced veteran. That will help. 
and we got rudimentary telepathics so that was one of those um, those one turn researches that I just want to get out of the way I don't know if we'll actually use them um, but it's good to have them now we have graviton manipulation which actually might help uh, this star system improvement is really nice that increases all of our fids and it's only minus two for dust and then we have a planet improvement lava transformation hmm so it looks like at the cost of approval we can drastically increase um, the industry I'm not sure if we're going to be going in that route but it's good to know that that's there and we are going to uh, do this adaptive taxation systems to get our dust going through the roof I think in this system it, it, it gives plus two dust per person on planets and we have current population of 24 so 24 times 2 would be 48 so we'll get 88 plus 48 which I can't do the math there but it's gonna go through the roof which will be great and we are already generating plus 88 per turn in the first place so that'll be great so we'll get a nice dust uh, supply going again and we might be able to do some buyouts and possibly that'll fund our, um, our retrofitting once we start upgrading our ships to deal with purple. And so we're going to colonize that planet finally. And we are going to go for food. And and we'll deal with all the, other, all the rest later. Do they have a moon there? Let me go back. Yes, we do have a moon. So actually, I also want to do... Oh, okay, so this is the, oh, hang on one second, let me go over, that's not what I wanted, I wanted this, I want to explain something that I think I just figured out, yes, okay, when we first uh, researched adaptive colonies, I thought this anomaly reduction was just automatic, but it's not, what you need to do is you need to go to the planet that has the anomaly, i.e. we have metallic ground here, we need to go into it. It's a negative anomaly, and so we need to improve it. Now, its anomaly is metallic ground, which gives us minus two food and plus two industry. Now, um, this will uh, we'll replace the anomalies, anomalies effects by... Okay, so what will happen is we'll just get rid of the negative portion of that. We won't completely get rid of the anomaly. We'll just get rid of the minus two food. So this actually changes a lot um, and this would have probably been useful to know <laughs> um, earlier um, but that actually gives us some more options when we're unsure of what to do on our systems um, but that's you know we're learning again I mean we're in part 10 and we're still learning stuff so that's great I love games that every turn you can learn something new it's excellent okay now Gaikon this might be another place where we want to let's see look at Gaikon is on the border here so it might be good to push against uh, Esther here so I think we're gonna go with entangled which will increase our influence area it will take six turns let's actually start taking a look at um, some of these ice 10 is that a negative one yes it is can we improve it yes we can Wow and can we drag and drop these? Excellent. Let's do that anomaly reduction first. Yeah, this just, that completely changes a lot. Um, we can start. That, that would have been useful. <laughs> Basically, it would have been mm, pretty damn useful. Um, and, of course, this is a, not a negative anomaly, so we don't reduce it. Um, and they are not doing anything, so we need something for them to do. And this will help out with our current minus 10 dust on this system this should negate that completely we'll have 1 2 7 12 times 2 24 so we should end up with 14 dust so that'll be great excellent and Miker needs something to do and actually let's take a look at Yes, this was one of the other systems that we were dealing with that we uh, got from uh, from the green pilgrims. Uh, so let's actually do a moon survey. And actually, I just want to go through and change all their exploitations. 
and so we're gonna go industry here we're gonna go oh, why would you put the dumb AI why would you put food here I mean I know it it's low on food but you gotta go with lava I mean it's lava so you get plus three on lava and then plus three on planet that's plus six that's tons 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 stupid AI again arid it has great food well it has great food because because I think that's just comes from the base plus three oh okay plus 33 from population yeah okay uh, arid there's more dust but this has low science and industry but I think we're gonna want to go industry there and let's see we're gonna go again we'll go industry mm -hmm. and this is Terran so that does really help the food but how is our system on a whole eight turns yeah we'll leave that one the same that looks good all right that's good Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That looks good. We're invading over here. We're going to be invading over there next turn. Fajis is coming along fine. Rasia as well. Gaikon has a fast attack ship over here. We have a colony ship there. And actually, let's go ahead and disband that to the hangar. And this is another colony ship coming in as well. We'll disband that to the hangar as well. All right, next turn. So we should. Wow, they turned around. <laughs> they turned around quite fast. Interesting. So they have zero out of six. We should be able to beat them um, to the planet, but I don't want to be caught. We were guarding. That's stupid. I'd really like to take them out when they reach over here but I also want to defend against the pirates it, what we might we'll leave this guy this fleet here and if we start to see the pirates heading toward our systems over here if it, if they get to Yersh we're going to send or if they get to Zakor and it looks like they're going up to Yersh we're going to send this fleet over here to deal with them I'd rather lose uh, one of these than start uh, having real big pirate problems and you can see they just have 819, 819, 3670, and this one is 1365. I mean, they're they're big. They're not overwhelmingly big. We can deal with them, but it's still very, very annoying. So let's first of all resolve our movement, and, that, and we can s disband that colony ship to the hangar. And now we can start our invasion over here. And... We should have our two dreadnoughts. Excellent. We will send them directly to Bindus. And again, it's saying we have the resource monopoly on there. We now have graviton manipulation complete, so we get some a good star system improvement, and we get a planet improvement for lava. We could transform a planet into lava. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to really use that at this point, but you never know. And we're going to use that immediately over here. That new uh, that new improvement that we just got. Things are going well. Fast attack ship. And what was I saying? I think we did need another repair ship somewhere. Repair ship. Uh, oh, our scout. Yep, our scout is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send our scout to start looking over here. That better be the scout. Okay, it's good. I didn't want it to be these guys. All right, everything looks pretty good. Let's end the turn. Okay, let's see. Let's wait for the movement to end. Some big fleets over there. <coughs> Okay, so now we ha oh, okay, so we have plus we have four units of proto orchid, so we get plus ten percent fids. That's great. Now we're yeah we are we're getting plus two hundred thirty two per turn. We are back down to our content approval. I remember we were up to like a happy level, but because we have a couple new systems that we're assimilating, um, that's that went down 
uh, in fact, Fajis, we have now. We just uh, invaded it, so it's ours now. And we can now colonize this large asteroid belt. So let's go ahead and actually let's take a look at... Okay, it does have EM radiation. Uh, I don't know if we can counter that yet. We might be able to. And this one also has EM radiation. Let's see if we can. No, we need soil revivification. Let's see where that is. If I search for soil, we get a couple. So Xenom, uh, soil uh, revivication. Let's actually go shift on that and make sure we get that. Yeah, so all these uh, terraforming, it looks like we always get minus 10 approval. Let's take a look at this one, minus 5. Okay, so that's not as bad. Now there's a couple um, warp, uh, warp improvements that we might want to look at, um, which might help us if we're going to be invading purple. Um, right now our warp is activated, um, but we only get plus five, which isn't very good. Um, we'll get a plus seven over here, which will make it more efficient. Now whenever we, if we were to control click, or control right click on systems, we'll automatically use warp to just go in a straight line, and but it'll only use like what we have right now, plus five uh, per turn, so that's not very fast. Um, if there was a case where <coughs> going in a straight line, which if you just don't hold control and right click on a system and going the warp driveway is actually faster. Like if you have a weird galaxy shape and you have tons and tons of routes to get. Uh, so for example, if we have a planet like here, if you look at my mouse like here and a planet like here, and in order to, do, to get there via warp gates and wormholes, you would have to go way over here obviously it would go it would be more efficient to go in a straight line and so right clicking on it would always take the shortest route um, but if you wanted to manually do that you can control right click but increasing our warp drive here would help out if we really wanted uh, to look into that okay no moon here let's go ahead and colonize this asteroid let's go ahead and take a look at the okay so the, uh, the, ax the AI actually did do exactly what we wanted, um, which was to increase the industry. It's kind of our default exploit to increase the industry since industry seems to be at a premium. Okay, so we finished atmospheric engineering. Oh, okay, that was why we could colonize that asteroid now. And we actually might have that available on a couple of other systems as well. And now we're doing that na uh, nanoscale thermodynamics because that was a one term turner. And we have no moon. And actually, before we go into that, let's resolve our movement. There's our scout moving there. And, yeah, our, it looks like the pirates aren't going to hassle us, which is excellent, excellent news. That would have been a big bummer if we had to go deal with them while warring with the orange. Um, but things are going very well. I think by the end of this video, we should be able to finish our um, invasion. So let's head... Let's take our 11 out of 11 fleet here and go finish off Brasia. And it should get there probably in the next couple of turns. And let's minimize that. This thing is good. Again, this fleet is just kind of floating out there, just figuring out what the hell it can do. It's really not going to be able to do anything. We have a couple of dreadnoughts heading toward Bundus, which will help in that invasion. This, w this invasion is going to take a while since we, we don't have any invasion... Uh, modules on these guys. Okay, so let's go to Silphi and let's take a look at. Do we have any negative? Uh, no, we don't have any negative anomalies. That's great. Let's take a look at our options for. Yeah, our options for industry here. If you get plus three, we would lose some food. Let's keep that like that. I like these actually. Let's just leave it like that and let's start. Well, we'll build uh, a couple missile attack, a couple fast attack. That's all going to be done in one turn. And a repair? Yes, it could. So that's five, right? And a dreadnought? Wow. We have enough we have enough industry on this planet to create. Wow, that's great. And oh my. Wow. No way. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 
could we really? No way. We can get an 11 out of 11 fleet in one turn from Sophie. How ridiculous is that? That's ridiculous. That is so op. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I love it. All right. Um, we have some colonizing to do. Oh, yeah. This was Xanados. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't colonize Arid? Oh, no. Are we going to get another one of those bugs again? Damn it. Oh. That annoys me. All right. Let's just do a, a survey, a moon survey right now. And that does take a while. Actually, let's go for some production increase increasing uh, system improvements let's see <laughs> let's go for let's help out the trade routes and yes we want this one wow that's gonna take a while hmm yeah, that, it really must be a bug, because I just don't see why we can't colonize this planet unless we can't p colonize it because of this anomaly. I really just don't know. Oh, well. It's not a big deal. All right, let's go to Tsing. And let's actually colonize this asteroid just right away. That'll take one turn. And we also want to... Let's see. Let's go for... that no we don't want that mm, oh this one is good yes planetary institute which will help with all our fids that looks good close that mm -hmm, just checking around just checking around oh it could be no no that's the wrong place sorry I, where was i looking oh xanados it could be because it's an outpost maybe we can't colonize perhaps not sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do know one thing we want to do. We are doing an infinite thing over here, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop that and we can colonize our asteroid again. And actually, let's take a look at our infinite queued things and go to this system. And we can, yes. Can we? Hey, look! Remember this was bugged? Now we can colonize it. There must have been some reason why. So let's colonize all this stuff. Actually, let's unqueue that. Let's colonize all this. That'll all be done in one turn. That's excellent. And then we might be able to get rid of that poor soil. This is a good anomaly. This is a good anomaly. Great. And do we have any other? Yes, we have that one there on Treem. And Molten Springs is a good anomaly. But we can do better over here. In fact, we want better I approval so we can take advantage of that other improvement this one I keep talking about uh, colonial rights which we need ecstatic for to get those FIDS increases mm, so we're gonna go with that let's do that any other infinite no everything is producing that's good we just gotta keep an eye on that alright let's end the turn we're gonna get a research next turn and yeah, lots of cool stuff is going to happen. At least that's what I hope for. So let's resolve our movement. Mm, this was our scout, correct? Yes, I believe so. Oh, one other thing that would be useful would be like an idle ship. Uh, I think I watched an idle ship uh, button or something that we can see how many idle ships we have. I think I was watching a video at one point, and I think he mentioned it as well, that it would be nice to have. Okay. Brassi is coming along. We should, once this, we reach that, yeah, in the next turn it should go down even further, and then the next turn, yes. Yeah, so in two turns we should be able to finish off that invasion. And let's see. Mm -hmm. okay, that looks good. What is this guy? Okay, we have uh, two dreadnoughts. Yes, and these guys are heading over here to Bundus. And they might not even make it. Uh, oh wow, these pirates are. Looks like they're kind of just patrolling this area, which is great. I don't want to. I don't want to bother them. I don't want to piss them off, whatsoever. Strange fossils is a good anomaly. That's fine. Let's go for planetary institute. 
And let's also go for, let's see, any other one turn ones that we could do? Yes. We might as well um, do those one turn things. No, that won't do it. Okay, so we did nanoscale thermodynamics. Now we're doing consumption psychology. And we have virtual artifact. Excellent. A resource monopoly on virtual artifacts, which will give us plus 20% industry. That's very good as well. Let's take a look at our scores. I forgot to look at this last time. Yes, now we are really doing a lot better. But I think it's mostly because, or we're not doing a lot better than the purple, but we are doing at least, it looks like 150. Uh, maybe 160 uh, better points and that's mostly probably probably because we're taking out orange and we're conquering some systems okay we have a game event okay fully half of the galaxy is now under your control domination of what remains is only a question of time excellent so that means we have yes we have a uh, supremacy okay we have expansion victory of eight or six percent um, we might even be able to be victorious with expansion without even taking out all of purple if we really want supremacy um, yeah I'm not sure because I guess we could do supremacy but we might hit the expansion victory before we even hit the ex supremacy victory unless we unless we can take out a um, if we can take out a faction by just taking over its home system maybe that works I'm not sure um, there's probably some differences between those victories that I just don't know about. Okay, so our fleets look good. Let's take a look at our production queues. Way needs something to do. Yes, we colonized our asteroid belt here. And we do need soil revivification. Revivification, uh, which we will be getting pretty soon. And the food is not very good. Um, but what's good for... Yeah, there's no specific ones that are good. I think right now I will just go for, uh, let's see. We're getting some, we're getting population growth from the other places, um, from the other planets. So that's not going to be a problem filling that guy out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go for more industry. All right, that looks good. Silphi is doing some things, and we have some things queued up here, which is great. I like having queues. That, we, that way we don't have to really deal with it. Now let's see if we can get rid of this anomaly. Nope, we need to revivification. Cyberflora is a good anomaly. All right, so let's go for... We are unhappy. Okay, this is one of... Okay, here. H-I-R. Yes, we are over here. There's a couple of planets like systems like that. Like we're right here, and way is way over here. Yes, I remember when I made that massive four-way pun on way uh, in one of my videos. That was epic. It wasn't epic. I don't like using epic. Epic is overused. All right. Anyway, back to the game. Zero out of one route trade route. Um, let's go for some xenotourism and. Are there any other one-turn things that we can do? Those are always nice if you can just kind of knock them out. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't believe... Oh, this one might be. Yes, that'll be good. This is a great improvement overall for our FIDs. And anything else? Nope, that's good. That looks good. So everything looks good. Sweet. End the turn. like yes the or <laughs> the orange pilgrims are once again asking us to be merciful and we will once again spit in their face okay so we're going to resolve our movement and now we have two fleets that are going to be invading and and defending or uh, rather guarding and our invasion is going very well we are past 50 percent for everything so hopefully by the end of this video we will have taken out the orange pilgrims and once again our our uh, fleet commander hero has leveled up and I always like to give him yes let's give him this engine tuner which will give us more movement that's really nice to level up all the way to make them a lot faster 
the whole fleet will be faster. Okay, so now we finally get to soil revivification. That'll be really cool. That'll give us some nice options. Mm, okay, so now way has seismic activity, has EM radiation. I think we can start getting rid of some of those, which will be very nice. No, nope, not EM radiation. Seismic activity, perhaps. Yes, it'll get rid of. So seismic activity is a minus 10 approval and minus one uh, dust. And so using this anomaly reduction, it will get rid of all those minus ones. But it won't get rid of that plus one science, which is very nice. It's excellent. And we also have terraforming options, which appear here. Just for reference, I don't think we're going to be doing any terraforming, but it's good to know where those options are. So now Yersh did two things, uh, completed two th uh, constructions in the queue. And uh, looks like we're good on anomalies duty-free spaceports plus 40 percent trade route distance bonus that's we have two routes set up so that might be good um, yeah let's go for that uh, actually let's take a look at wasteless supply chain we don't really need to worry about food at this point so let's go with that and cancer needs something to do and oh let's go ahead and colonize this asteroid and can we do anything else? Looking for a one turner. Uh, we don't have any tiny or small, small, so that endothermic structures will be pretty useless. Uh, this is one turn, excellent. Let's do that. Sounds good. And Sing needs something to do. Acid rain. Oh, we have a no exploitation over here. So let's go for industry once again, since we really have no problem. Ooh, actually. We might want to go with food. We might want to look at actually doing food on those as well. This system has a real food problem. Um, this is arid. Food will be good on arid. Our industry is low, but our food is even worse. So I think it, it's a good idea. Well, gas helium, I think that's good. Gas methane. So we just get plus three, and we get plus three here as well, so that might help there. And, oh, the lava is good for, for industry, so we'll leave it there. See, we don't really, while our, and this is to sing, so we're still uh, assimilating it. So there is still an ap approval problem, which is reducing all these factors, but I think, really, most of our planets are producing zero food because of their type. So we want to uh, use those exploits to offset some of that. Now here, just completed a couple improvements. And uh, we do have that poor soil, which we'll be able to take care of soon enough. So let's go ahead and do, we will increase, let's see, what's good, what's good. go with oh I don't know oh have we explored any moons yet I think we might have how about this one nope let's do that sounds good and finally okay here is all set all right so that should take care of that the pirates are chilling over here still let's hope that they just stay over there oh and that whole fl 11 out of 11 fleet actually didn't happen um, it looked like it was going to because we had all one turns in the queue. Um, we had all ones here, but it looks like it didn't completely. Um, but we'll, w we'll wait for these all to finish before we create that fleet and send it up to do some, do its business. All right, the pirates look good. Well, they don't look good, but you know what I mean. All right, so we finished our invasion of Brassia, and wow, actually, Bundus must not have any invasion defense whatsoever because even with just these missile and fast attack ships and one repair ship, it's absolutely crushing it. I don't even think we needed to really send those dreadnoughts, which are these guys heading over there. That's great. So we took over Brassia. So what I'm going to do is uh, send all these 
over to this actually let's go to Taurus uh, let's send everyone let's send these guys to Taurus send these guys to Taurus send these guys to Taurus and we'll keep these guys over here guarding just in case this fleet decides to turn around again but by the time they get over here we might have invaded completely okay we did get a moon survey on here three uh, we did get a temple uh, so we get plus one science per person on our planets in the here system so we get how many people do we have we have 12 so we get plus 12 science that's great awesome and now we need to worry about other stuff here do, do, do. oh let's actually go for this improvement which will increase our dust and we now have pre-schism artifact resource monopoly so we get minus 30 percent buyout bonus that's great our buyout bonus keeps going down and down and down so that's excellent and now we are okay let's take care of sylphi first we have nine ships in that hangar which will create a 11 out of 11 fleet and we will send them and their military power is 3701 we will send them over here i think what we want to do is in the background of this war over here we want to start taking out some pirate fleets just so we don't have to worry about them when we are dealing with purple we are good here we're good here we're good here of course we're good here okay bad puns aside Miker oh we did do a dismissal when we should have left that open because that is nice to see what we still need to do strong magnetic field I'm guessing yes we need that soil revivification acid rain perhaps yes we need the same thing I think we're gonna be getting rid of a bunch of anomalies on and that might really help uh, Miker for its approval um, and this will take four turns so let's actually use that to help out with that and hopefully we can get the the approval of this system up okay so cancer now needs something to do mm, we have no exploitation here so what we're going to do is actually let's take a look at the food looks good um, so let's just default to our industry and let's also do let's see we have plenty of trade routes but have none established mostly probably because there just aren't enough people to trade with let's go with uh, more dust that looks good all right and Gaikon needs something to do we don't have anything in the ha hangar ice okay so we want to actually use oops ice minus oh, okay so if there is a negative anomaly it'll still show here so it says ice 10 but it'll have this minus sign which means that the negative effects um, have been countered so that's good to know and what we're gonna do is we are going to go with uh, planetary institute and adaptive taxation systems so we're going to be getting uh, some nice tax increases and actually let's see what happens if we do that we get 416. Oh, that is so worth it. Do we really? We lose some dust per turn. No, we gain. But we gain. We lose some dust per turn on our systems, it looks like. Uh, and we actually lose a couple of science and industry on GaiCon. Just doing some uh, quick evaluation. But we gain so much dust per turn. It might just be worth it. Let's just do that and see how it turns out. Okay, scanning our systems again to see what we need to improve. So if I need something to do, so we will go with uh, duty-free spaceports to help out with our trade routes here. Even though they're very good, they could be even better. Um, colonize, colonize, colonize. We could go with more food here, but at the cost of dust, it's not really important since we're maxed out at population anyway. So we'll go with duty-free spaceports, and then we might build a whole another fleet and yes okay and way is doing good here brassi needs something to do strange fossils is a good anomaly let's take a look at what we can do here you know i like this planetary institute is great as is that one uh 
but it's not so great right now. And we do have zero out of two. We uh, oh, we do need some better food, so let's go with this one as well. Okay, and everything else looks good. Let's actually do a quick scan up here because that's the best way to see. And let's take a look at our AI as well. That looks good. Everything looks good. Oh, and this is a good way to see if we have any hangar ships. Yep, these are our two colonies, so that's great. Like I said earlier in this video, we learn something new every turn, which is great. So we have about 10 minutes left in the video. So I'm really hoping we can take over Orange. Yes, okay, so Bendis is all set. Um, and it looks like that fleet that was heading toward Nuscan, Nusikan, probably docked up. And one thing I need to figure out is why we are guarding, which indicates that we will uh, intercept ships that come in. But I mean, I've never seen us intercept. Well, we might have. It might be a random thing. It might not be guaranteed every time. But I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, so that's, actually, let's resolve some movement. And who is this? Oh, that's our scout. That's right. I wanted to just take a quick look. Our military power, if you look up and hover over the military screen button, we are only second in military uh, power. Our expansion victory is at 90%. We are going to be very, very close. Mm, yes, we are. Okay, so let's just keep our scout there. And we have a fast attack ship there. We have our two colony ships there. The pirates are chilling here and, and blockading this place, but that's uh, that system, but it's not really a problem. Mm -hmm. Let's send this fleet to Nusakan to help out the completion. Well, we probably should have sent them to Taurus. That might have been a better move. Let's send these guys to Taurus. They won't make it the whole, whole way. Okay, so Silphi needs something to do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and hmm. Again, once again, we don't really have much to do. We could just go with an infinite. Yeah, but I, I always get nervous about putting an infinite. That's okay. Actually, let's just do that. I'll remember. I will definitely remember. I'm making a mental note to remember that we have an infinite production queued on Silphi. Okay. Noted. Duly noted. Okay. Checking that. Okay, that looks good. And this is Yersh. Let's see. <laughs> let's go with that. And let's go with that. Nope. I just want to see if we'll be able to do any of this in one turn. No. Oh, okay. So we're just going to go with Impervious Bunkers for some extra defense. And sing. Let's go with there again. They're still on strike. Uh, irradiated, huh? I'm guessing we need soil. Yep. Re revivification on that. Molten core. That's probably good. Yes, it is. Okay. And we're all colonized here. I bet we have this moon. Yes, this was the moon that had the temple. Let's go with. <laughs> Let's go with, oh, I don't know. Mm, let's just do impervious bunkers, I guess. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, and Fajis needed an exploitation here. And how's our food on the whole system bad? So let's go with a farm there. And I'm hoping we have a farm here as well. No, we don't, we wanna change that. Okay, that takes care of all that. End of turn. Looks like, okay, we have Tsing and here are now colonies. Um, I'm not sure if that happened exactly on the uh, end of that turn, but you can see here is now a colony. Actually, it, it has been a colony for a while. Uh, actually, it might not have been. We can still do a 
it'll still so show this 40% owner thing, even if it's just an outpost. But I know definitely Tsing just became an, an, um, a colony rather than an outpost, which is excellent. Hajis. So we just took over Nuskan. So we're going to send uh, all of these. Yes, we're going to send all of these to Taurus. And that will be our la uh, the last system we conquer in this um, for the per uh, the orange pilgrims tiny lava geothermic activity and we countered it looks like the AI had already uh, improved or uh, counted that anomaly so what are we missing here let's see I um, think I'm going to go for right away I'm gonna go for the satellite and I'm gonna go for the planetary Institute and we have farms right Yes, we have farms. That actually might be good in this system. This system really isn't going to get us much. It's pretty useless. So let's go to Nuscan. And we're probably going to... Oh, that was weird. I saw a little temple icon, but that might have just been a leftover graphical artifact. Okay, so they are on strike. Uh, let's actually <coughs> go immediately for a planetary institute. And let's see what else can we do that's good more yeah actually oh we'll just we'll just do that for now uh how about tangled yeah all these other ones require a lot of industry to to do right away that's all right and now we have soil revivification so once we we can take care of that um blah uh we can take care of uh some of those anomalies and I think what I want to do is let's go with hypermagnetics. Let's go with um, let's see if we can take we can do some of these in one turn. Might be a good idea. And let's resolve our movement. I think Taurus is definitely going to fall before the end of this video. How much time do we have left? About three minutes. We might go a little late just to make sure that Taurus gets gets uh invaded correctly okay so now we do have some yes we're going to get rid of this EM radiation that is going to take a long time however hmm <laughs> how about over here does it take the same amount of time yes it does and we're on way 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 do we need anything else? oh we could let's do that first and then let's go with hmm, that we'll go with that and then we'll do We'll get rid of the all these EM radiation. It might, it'll, it'll take a long time to do this, but way is way out there. Again with that pun, I know, but it's hard to do. Uh, it's hard to not do. Okay. Yersh is doing well. Let's go with Entangled. Hmm, I don't really need it. Yeah, let's just go with Entangled. We have nothing really better to do, and Takim. Do. Molten Springs is good. We want. Yes, we want more science out of here, so let's go with that. Okay, and next turn. Yes, okay, so in probably one more turn we'll be able to get that guy, so let's do that. Oh, we didn't quite reach that yet. And this car needs something to do. We're going to say, hey, <coughs> let's see. Oh, that's we, That's good. Epigenic crop seeding. That's good. Let's do that. And we finished mobile Gauss platforms. Now we're going to do plasma payloads. That's good. Increase our military. <coughs> Tream. We're almost done. We're going to be wrapping up the video very shortly. Let's go with, yeah, let's go with more dust. That'll take a while. Actually, let's go with more everything and then more dust. More anything? More everything! That's one for you Seinfeld fans. I know you're out there. All right. And let's also go with, this is a good general plus, uh, plus food to go with, uh, I'm surprised we haven't done that one yet. Oh, it is cancer, so. Yeah, and now Brassia. We just finished that. And let's go with... 
let's go with this one. That looks good. All right, everything looks good. Everything looks good, relatively speaking, of course. We have a... Uh, yes, okay, so we actually want to... Well, we're going to deal with the pirates in the next uh, video, I think. What we want to do is finish off our friends here. We're going to run a little bit late. Yes, excellent. And just in time for the end of the video, we have taken out the purple, uh, rather the orange pilgrims. We'll resolve our movement. And uh, we're just going to scan these guys. Yeah, they're, they're checking us out. They don't... Hmm. That's going to be just a pain in the ass to deal with. Okay, so we do have a level up of one of our heroes. We'll take care of that. Um, more melee, more defense. This is actually faster. I like that. Uh, so let's dismiss that. And I think we will deal with all those in the next video. So uh, we're going to finish this out. We're going to close, come to a close here. Um, we finally took out the orange pilgrims. Uh, which is awesome so we've taken out the green and orange pilgrims and we only have to deal with the purple ones next and i guess the big question is are we going to try and fight them or are we going to try to be a little bit peaceful for the rest of the game and maybe go for um an expansion victory by taking we could i think if we take these these two systems over here we might might be able to do expansion we are at 94 percent right now um, we might even be able to get into a small war with the purple in order to take just a couple in order to finish off our expansion victory. Um, and I'm not sure actually if uh, an outpost becomes a colony, that might actually add um, to our expansion victory. But that'll all happen in the next video, so thank you for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join me next time.